Zapier is one of my favorite tools to connect to Clay, partly because it opens up even more possibilities and creative ways to build automations and workflows that help go-to-market teams, and more specifically in this case, sales reps. So let's say I'm a sales rep, I'm going after Zapier, and I land on Lindsay's profile. She looks really good, she's in our ICP, but I have all these questions about Zapier. And I have these questions because I'm trying to figure out what's the best way to break into Zapier or write a message to Lindsay that's gonna be highly relevant and personalized. So some of those questions may be, is a partner working with Zapier that could perhaps make an introduction to people at Zapier? Or do we have a common investor? Who are their investors? Or maybe someone at Zapier is already using Clay and we wanna find who those people are and see if they've set up any workspaces in Clay already. We also wanna know, well, what's Lindsay's work email? What's her mobile phone number? Um, what's her Twitter? Is she active on Twitter? Maybe that gives insights into some of the things we can outreach to or include in our outreach. And the number of questions kind of like goes on, but doing all that research takes a lot of time and it takes going to a lot of places to like find that information. So instead I created a Zapier Chrome extension and as a non-technical person, non-engineer, being able to create a Chrome extension is, is actually pretty cool and empowering. So this one I simply pull down and I'll take Lindsay's profile and this Chrome extension will simply send that profile to a clay table. To do that, I set up a very simple workflow here in Zapier. It's a zap that takes the LinkedIn profile URL and then sends it to clay. That brings it to this clay table and you'll see that Lindsay is not in here yet. But when I refresh, it'll show you that Lindsay's LinkedIn profile was sent to Clay. Now we're doing a bunch of lookups and research. So for example, is Zapier working with one of our partners? Answer is no here, but for this account, um, they're working with GoNimbly. Are they working with any of our tech partners? Uh, in this case, uh, no. Um, but then I start to find a bunch of information on uh, Lindsay that you can find here. So a lot of similar information that you might find on uh, LinkedIn. This is pulled out into different columns. I have a domain. Then I look at the company information, figure out how many employees that they have. The employee information has, or the company information has all of these details and so on. I use that to find a work email, mobile phone number. This is looking up the investors that back Zapier and then if they have a common investor. So for this company at Big ID, we do have a common investor and that's Bold Start. So I'd leverage them to make, or to get an introduction to Big ID. Then I'm looking at the competitive uh, landscape to see if they're using any competitive products. I do that in two different ways. One is um, looking at the competitive or the competitor's websites to see if Zapier logo is there. And then I'm also bringing in uh, the tech stack from a couple different uh, providers. I'm also looking up, has uh, Lindsay been on a podcast where, in which case I want to go listen to that podcast or have AI um, summarize it for me, looking at her profile, giving an activity score, seeing if she talks about any specific topics, and then looking up to see if she's already in Salesforce. She's not, but Zapier is. And it looks like there's a bunch of other people from Zapier that are already in our system, which we can see here, because it's doing a Salesforce lookup of that account and then bringing in people that, that work there, or sorry, that have signed up to Clay. Then I'm looking at whether there's any workspaces set up in Clay. So in this case, there's, there's 15. And then I'm looking at the number of employees on the sales team, pulling in additional information from uh, Salesforce. In this case, this is a summary of why that company is a good target for us and explains our segmentation reasoning. And then finally, I'm sending all this information um, via HTTP API back to Zapier. And that brings us to this workflow. So a webhook within Zapier catches all of that information. It sends it to my Google contacts. That way, if I'm on the go, um, I don't need to go in and log into a system to get that information. I just have it right there and Google Contacts, just a, a nice little productivity hack that I like to use. And then I send all this information in a structured way into um, a Slack channel I specifically set up to receive this information. And that of course is here 
you know, see, I sent Lindsay a couple times for, for testing, but we have the clay intelligence agency, uh, Slack bot, and then we get all the information that we automatically just looked up. So, uh, work email, mobile phone, size of sales team, if they're in the sales force, uh, CRM, 